Well, I have some free time, and I thought I would review some of topic 6.5, which is graphing uh, the function of e to the x power. Now, what I did here is made a little t-chart, as we've been doing, and I put some values in. Now, remember e we said was approximately 2.7183. So there's our e value. And if it's to the e to the first power, this to the first power, it's going to be 1. So if our value here is 0, our x value, then this goes as a dot here at 1. And remember, all these values, anything to the zero power is going to be 1. Now, if x is 1, which is right here, then our value is 2.7. And a little bit of a decimal there. So 1, 2, 2.7 is about there. And if it's a negative 1, it's about uh, 1 over 3. So negative 1 is about a third right there. So you see we're starting to get the curve here. Now if x is 2, if you raise this to the second power, that is we squared, it, it's approximately 7.4. So there's 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be about there. And again, that's one seventh, so it starts getting really close to the line. Now, if we want to draw that curve, we can do so. And we start to sketch it in. Remember, it never quite approaches zero, but it goes like so here. and then it continues. Now if we want to find our domain of this one, our domain of this one is, again this goes ever and ever closer to zero, but never reaches zero, but goes to infinity off onto the left here. So it's from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Now, for our range, for this one, again, it never quite reaches zero. So it's going to, again, start just beyond zero and go to positive infinity. Now, notice the range has a parenthesis there. That parenthesis is because it never quite reaches zero. Okay, so this is our first one in which it's x uh, e to the x power. Now here we're changing it a little bit and we're saying e to the negative 2 power. Well, e to the x minus 2. The negative 2 is not included in the x. A little later we will have it included. And what we're looking for is to see how this changes our graph. Now we had said that in a sense this is in slope-intercept form. Where our b term here which would be our negative 2, is our y-intercept. Now remember here, our x-axis is the x-asymptote. And the equation of the x-axis, if you may or may not be familiar with this, is y equals 0. Because your value of y right here, at this point, is 0. So this axis is actually y equals 0. Now, what happens when we 
have a negative 2 in this form. Well, interestingly, everything stays the same, but we just shift our graph down. Now, we had it at 0 originally. This was at 1. So we're shifting the 1 down 2 and the whole line down to this new point right here. Ah, so <laughs> I thought I remembered I had some transparencies, so it'd be easy for me to show you this in an animated way. So if this is a negative 2, it indicates our graph is going to shift down from where it used to be 0 was our x asymptote. Now our x asymptote is a negative 2. So what will be the domain of this one? Well, the range I was going to just do domain first. Domain is going to equal from, again, negative infinity, because this goes on, to positive infinity. But now our range has shifted down, so it's just the other side of a negative 2 going up to positive infinity. Now, we're going to go back to our first one, where I'll shift this back up here to our original. Now remember, I'm moving it from this point, in a sense from this point, down to this point goes down to as well. Now here, it's a little different because the negative 2 is included as part of that. And what did we say this was? Well, we said when we think of x minus h is the form of what this is in, in order to get a negative 2 here, what was the value of the original letter h? And the answer was, let's do it this way, x minus a positive 2. So that h was originally a positive 2. When we put it in there now, the opposite of a positive 2 makes it a negative 2. But what will this new thing do to our first equation? That is the question. And the answer is, it's going to shift it uh, to negative 2 over here or to a positive 2. Now what was the original h? A positive 2. So it takes this point and shifts it over and I kind of have it hidden here but there's if it were a negative 1 and there it is it's now a negative 2 which goes in there as a positive 2. So this is this one. Now, what is my domain and range here? Well, the domain remains unchanged. It's going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range, again, we're just shifting this uh, horizontally. And the shortcut way is the opposite of the sign that's there. If it's a negative 2, we shift it positive 2, as I've indicated here. But our range is the same. Starts at uh, a 0 with a parenthesis going to positive infinity. Okay, we'll do one other set, but I'll put it on a different uh, video.